Whether you're sick of Vista or ready to retire your old XP laptop, there's never been a better time to buy a new laptop. That's because Windows 7 offers snappier performance, a more intuitive interface, and it stays out of your way, making it easier to concentrate on the things that matter most to you. Also, has a handful of new features I think you're really going to enjoy. Has a taskbar that keeps all of your favorite programs and documents close by. Makes it easy to minimize all your open windows so that you can quickly peek at that desktop. And it makes home networking easier. First, I'm going to walk you through the minimum specs to look for when you're shopping for a notebook, and then I'm going to walk you through our favorite five notebooks. Whether you're interested in a gaming rig or a netbook, we have the one for you. Before I show you our favorite Windows 7 laptops, I'm going to give you some basic shopping advice that you can use regardless of what kind of laptop you're shopping for. First, you need at least two gigabytes of RAM to comfortably run Windows 7. But you can easily find three or four gigs even at a budget price, and that'll make things like booting up your computer feel even faster. The hard drive should be at least 160 gigabytes if you're buying a netbook, and at least 320 gigs if you're getting a full-size notebook. The speed of the hard drive should be 5400 RPM at the very least, but they also make faster 7200 RPM drives, and those are really ideal for power users. The processor can run the gamut from Intel's Atom platform, which was designed for netbooks, to Intel's Core i7 platform, which was designed for gamers and other power users. In between, you'll find lots of traditional dual-core processors from both AMD and Intel, as well as ultra-low voltage processors, which combine solid performance and long battery life. Ultimately, the processor that you choose depends on two things, your budget and your computing needs. The Gateway NV series has long been one of our favorite budget laptops, and that's because it combines a sleek design, including a glossy patterned lid and metal accents, with solid performance for the money. The screen size, 15.6 inches, is going to be a sweet spot for a lot of people because the computer is still small enough that you can shuttle it from one room of the house to the other, but the screen's large enough also that you can comfortably watch movies and view photos. The screen's also large enough that you can take advantage of Snap, a new feature in Windows 7. With Snap, you can take any window and drag it to the right or left side of the screen and watch it snap into place, taking up half the screen. And then you can do the same with any other window, dragging it to the opposite side of the screen. It's really a convenient feature for people who like to multitask, or really anyone who wants to compare web pages or documents side by side. The Acer Aspire 1410 looks like a netbook, but it's actually a lot more versatile than that. It has an 11.6 inch screen, which is larger than a typical netbook's, and it also has a full-size keyboard. It runs on a dual-core Intel Celeron processor and has 2 gigs of RAM, which all in all amounts to twice the performance that a typical netbook offers. Despite that extra muscle, though, it still weighs 3.2 pounds, which is light, and it lasts six hours on a charge, making it ideal for road warriors and for students who need to leave a dorm behind all day. Getting online with Windows 7 is easier than ever because now all you have to do is click on the wireless icon in the system tray, and you'll immediately see a list of networks that you can connect to. The HP Mini 311 is like a netbook on steroids. That's because it has NVIDIA Ion graphics, which allows you to do things like play mainstream games, such as The Sims or World of Warcraft. You can also watch high-def video on a screen this small if you have Ion, but even better, you can output it to a high-def monitor like this one and enjoy smooth playback. All Windows 7 machines have Windows Media Player 12, and the great thing about that is that it stores all your photos, music, and videos in one place, making your media easier to find than ever. Lenovo's ThinkPad X200 tablet recently won our editor's choice in the business category. That's because it combines solid performance with long battery life. But the coolest feature of this system is the multi-touch display. That allows you to use multiple fingers at once to manipulate objects on screen. For instance, you can do things like rotate photos, you can shrink objects, or you can zoom in on them. Now that multi-touch support is actually a cornerstone feature of Windows 7. You won't find it in Vista or XP. Other companies, though, have taken it a step further. Lenovo, for instance, has a simple tap utility, which allows you to launch your favorite sites and adjust system settings with the tap of a finger. For instance, I can adjust volume, or I can adjust brightness. Toshiba's Cosmio X505 laptop is a multimedia monster. This 18-inch laptop has Intel's latest Core i7 platform. It's a quad-core processor that offers the ultimate in performance. With a processor like this, you can do things like stitch together panorama photos using a program like Windows Live Photo Gallery, and it would take a lot less time than it would with a lesser processor. This computer has a full HD display, a Blu-ray drive, and booming speakers. Of course, because it's a Windows 7 notebook, it also has Windows Media Center, which means you can play back your high-def content, but you can also pull in content from the web, such as recorded TV or web clips. 
A notebook this powerful and this large is good enough to become the entertainment hub of your entire home. To purchase these and other Windows 7 laptops, go to Newegg.com. Check out LaptopMag.com to read reviews and get tips on making the most out of Windows 7.